Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to multiply these given matrices. And you can see that these matrices have a different dimensions. And as you can see, the left-hand side matrix has the dimension three rows and three columns, three by three. And the right hand side, the red matrix, the rows are three and the columns are two. So let's go ahead and check the matrix multiplication compatibility. That means can we multiply these two matrices? Always remember one thing, check it out whether you can multiply or not. The answer is you look for the interior numbers. So the, the interior number is this one, and these are two interior numbers. Just check them, see if they are same. You can see they are same, isn't it? So that means, yes, we can multiply them. If these numbers are different, then you can't. And finally, we're gonna check the dimension of our answer matrix. What is gonna be that one? To check that one, look at these outside, the exterior numbers, three and two. So these two, you just pair them up. So three by two is going to be the dimension of our answer matrix. That means three rows and two columns. So that means when we multiply these two matrices, our roadmap or the matrix scheme is gonna look like this one. We know that the dimension of this, our answer matrix is supposed to be three by two. That means three rows and two columns. Let me now show you where we're gonna be filling out, filling in the blanks of this one over here. Let me show you where this column, this one on the left hand side, the blue matrix, this column is gonna go in this slot over here. Just keep in your mind. The next one is gonna go to right up here. The final, this blue column is gonna go to right up here. So same thing okay let's go ahead and fill in the blanks pretty quick so this is going to be negative four zero eight here is going to be nine two negative five and over here seven negative three and negative one we're going to repeat the same process for this next box next column as well and here I have nicely filled out these blue numbers in both columns that made our life easier now. The next step is this one. Let's shift our focus on the right matrix, the red matrix. Look at this one, this column. This column, when you write it down where this column is going to become a, just like a row over here, six is going to show up right up here negative seven, four. Likewise, over here, this next column is going to become a row like this one, negative two, three, and nine. So the next step is, I want you to just simply fill out, just filter in this six over here, negative seven over here, this four, over here let me just show you how we're going to do this thing so that means this number is going to be a six 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 here is going to be a negative seven negative seven negative seven four 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 so likewise we're going to be negative two is going to get filtered in all the way over here same thing three down over here and nine as well and here is our final product after filling in the blanks in all these slots now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to multiply these number in these parentheses negative four times six is going to become 24 nine times negative seven is going to be 
negative 63 7 times 4 is 28 all the way we're gonna do same thing and here I put down all these numbers by the way here I goofed up negative 4 times 6 supposed to be negative 24 not positive 24 so be careful over here so I put down I fill in the blanks everything it looks like this one and in the next step I removed the parentheses I took care of the parentheses and I put down this negative 24 negative 63 positive 28 everything I just filled it out over here now the next step is I want you to just simply add and subtract this one so we are going to write down this is going to be our matrix that has these numbers when you add and subtract negative 24 minus 63 plus 28 that is going to give you negative 59 the next number is going to be 98 right up here and over here this number is going to be negative 26 here is going to be negative 21 here is going to be 79 we have to be very careful and this is negative 40 and thus when we multiply these two matrices that is our final answer that is equal to this much and finally here is your assignment can you multiply these two matrices exactly the way I explained it to you you can pause the video you can take your time luckily I have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye